Good morning, friends. Brent coming to you here. Uh, listen, we've got some questions we'd like to go through this morning, but I want to touch base a little bit about some of the questions that are coming across and ways to protect students. Again, this is a hot topic, uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about that this morning. Yes, I just got done with my morning workout. It's my routine. Uh, I'm very disciplined about that, very regimented about that. Uh, makes me feel good. It's the way I start my day. But hey, listen, you know, I want to say first and foremost, you know, we have a lot of competitors in the in the security industry that we're in. I have a security company and we're always uh, coming across products uh, that are the latest and greatest and ways to protect people. But I'll say it this way and I'm going to I'm going to say it uh, from the perspective of a Marine. No matter how well protected you think you are, no matter how good your security is you're always going to have a gap in your vulnerability between vulnerability and mayhem. And people say all the time, well, no, this, this new product is going to protect people. This new product is going to do a better job because it can delineate the difference between a good guy and a bad guy. That's all well and good. But listen, they crashed a plane into the most secure building in the world and punched us in the face. September 11th, 2001, I think you can all recall, this country was punched in the face, which left us wide open. And it also made us go back to the drawing board and what we thought was secure and safe, in fact, was not the case. So I will say this, no matter how well protected you think you are, there's always a gap between vulnerability and mayhem. But I'll tell you, the way that you protect yourself and the way you get better is you train your teachers, you train your staff on how to protect the students. And you don't need to throw dollars at it. You know, I get so tired of hearing companies out there that say, if you put in this new camera system, if you put in this new access control system, you're gonna be the best protected school in the country. That's a bunch of garbage. You don't need to throw dollars at a problem every time it comes to the surface. Uh, to think that you're protecting people. Now, don't get me wrong, access control is legitimate. Surveillance cameras are legitimate. But let's face the facts, if your staff is not trained on how to, how to retaliate or how to protect the students against mayhem, um, it's not gonna be good. So I would say this, we're gonna go through a series of videos, a series of training that we're giving away for free. We're trying to get the word out there. God gave us a talent. Uh, at my own security company, and we're going to exercise that talent by giving that talent away to other people. We're going to teach you the differences between anger and righteous anger. We're going to teach you the differences between a lethal and a non-lethal threat. We're going to teach you the differences between a lethal and a non-lethal response to that threat. There are ways to protect people and things without having to pull a gun. But there are times to pull a gun. Don't get me wrong. But I want to take you guys through a series of training a series of videos that teaches you and trains you about those kind of instances. Because again, you don't have to throw tons and tons of dollars at a problem uh, to correct it. There are simple things you can do to just improve the process. And again, I go back to the same thing I just said. I'm not saying that access control and surveillance cameras aren't uh, the right kind of solution. Because they are. They absolutely can and will protect you. They absolutely can and will identify the source of the issue, the, 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 the vulnerability. But I'm here to say that there are simple things you can do to improve your process to make your security a whole lot better than what it is today. I walk into many schools, I walk into many churches, and I see vulnerability all over the place. And so if you would just clean up those simple vulnerabilities, you would imp improve your security process exponentially. So I appreciate you guys, I care about you guys, and listen, we're here to deliver the word because not only are we tactically proficient, but we're also technically proficient, and we're going to exercise that and bring that to you.